Hello and welcome on this video, uh, actually the last video about Twitter API. I'll be using updating the status on my test account. So on this status update, I'll just say it's finally Friday. We'll pass in your application key, your application secret, the user's token, and the user's secret. And with that, you can post tweets to their account. So if we go back to our API that we made our class basically using rest sharp we're doing is just posting to status update dot json and notice the slash 1.1 because the previous one did not have that but this one does have it and we add in this um arguments uh in the status so basically we're gonna add status after this so in our value so as you can see we're grabbing it from here and then we're going to be using our authenticator in this case we're going to use protected resource in the previous one we were using for access token on this one we're calling something that is protected and we're passing the same thing key secret token and our token secret that's going to be authentication and this is going to be our status so if i run this guy We'll see if it works or it doesn't work. So we'll wait a few seconds. And what I did is on the home controller, when the index loads, it's basically going to call that line of code. And it's just going to show up a home page. So as you can see, nothing here, but the idea was that once it loads it will push this status to our twitter account so we'll go back here and we'll say it says right now view one new view, view one new tweet so we we'll click on it uh so i don't know who's that we're gonna just another one and as you can see here we go now we have our tweet working so as you can see uh it's finally friday that's what i said on this line and that's what we got so this concludes this videos about twitter the api this is how you post so if somebody wants to know how you can read tweets back let me know and i'll make a tutorial if not i'll just find something else uh, another tutorial to do for you guys so i'll push this out to github um so you can guys can grab this line of code Obviously, I'm not checking anything here, but I'm assuming everything's fine. So that's something that you guys can work on. So hopefully this series was helpful to somebody. If, if it was helpful, um, make sure you leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.